Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or more depending on your location. Please join in this struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Thank God it's Friday. Go to your market. I bring you the updates. I am directed to end insecurity in Eastern region. That's according to the GOC, 82 Division, Enugu. Now, this GOC, GOC, General Officer Commanding, 82 Division in Enugu, is Major General Dada. He has dropped a hint saying that he has received a marching order from the army hierarchy to deal decisively with people in the southeast zone. He paid a, a working visit to Ozadema, the chief insecurity officer in Imo, the eastern heartland. And he said, let me quote part of his statement. The chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tori Lagbaje, has given me a marching order to end insecurity in the southeast, and I hope to do just that. I am here, therefore, to solicit the governor's support and everybody's support to improve security in Imo State and the Southeast. End of quote. Now, this is what he said. He said he is aware of the insecurity in the Southeast region and he, have, he has been, you know, directed or deployed to the Southeast zone to do just that that is, to end insecurity. And so the army is the one bringing insecurity in the eastern Nigeria. Yes, the military, the armed forces, they are the one causing insecurity. There's no insecurity in the southeast. What you have is the marginalization, the exclusion, the plan of the federal government to exterminate the eastern Nigeria. And because of that, Mazinam Khan is agitating and saying, you must treat these people like human beings. If you can't do that, allow them to go. They are stakeholders in this country, you call Nigeria. But if you can't treat them fairly, equally, you, you have to let them go. Let them go and be on their own after all, there was a country. And so they have been chasing the man everywhere. Let us be in the abduction, extraordinary rendition from Kenya and the torture and continued incarceration after court of common jurisdiction have declared him free from charges leveled against him and they said no they will not release him okay we are talking about the un that said release this man you did something wrong you committed crime against humanity by what he did in kenya we're talking about that one so the zone they are protesting by staying at home not going outside to make any protest, but rather staying at home. The government of Nigeria bringing troops, full and neutralist troops, into the into the eastern Nigeria to cause confusion. We have the one they call secret police, DSS. Their own job is to go and cause confusion and commotion. They even kill people, innocent, you know, citizens in eastern Nigeria. And they will heap it on IPOB. They will blame IPOB for that. So these things are what they have been doing. It is their stock and trade. So their game plan is to blackmail the agitators against their own people who are supporting them. To free them, liberate them from the shackles, from the fetters of these monsters in the seat of power, in the contraption. All right. And so they want to blackmail them, carry evil propaganda against the agitators so that their people will hate them. But all these things are fed woefully. So every day they devise evil means to carry out this their evil objective and agenda. So now they are bringing troops and they are causing insecurity. And they will say insecurity in the southeast. That's one to clarify this issue of insecurity. You know, each time they said insecurity, people in the international community will be saying, look, oh, there's insecurity in that region. There is no insecurity. What is happening in the region is that the region wants to secede. Okay, from the contraption, you have seen the contraption. The whole international community is aware of what is happening in this contraption called Nigeria. Nigerians are aware, they have said it, say, it's a mere geographical expression. There's no nationhood. They are marching to nowhere, they're going nowhere. Okay, there's no plan for a better, for a better country. They're all there to loot the resources of the country. Nobody trusts each other. That is the point. The full animal will never trust Igbo. 
they will never trust the Fulani because even the Fulani man, you know, will never trust the houses there. Okay, the houses they have conquered. The Yoruba, the the Yorubas, they will never trust Ibo. They will never trust them. So this is what is happening. This contraption. Yes, nobody trusts each other. There is mutual suspicion. There is no nation building. Nobody is building any nation. They are not building any country. They all gather in Abuja and Lagos to loot the sources of the masses. Now let people go their separate ways so that they will build nations. They refused. Those who have gathered to loot resources, those who have gathered, you know, become friends because of the, you know, the, the, the resources of the country, they have made themselves friends. Okay? They have one common agenda to loot, to make the people to be impoverished. That is the agenda. Okay? And so, Mazdan Mukhan is saying, well, you know, stop this. And they have done what they did. So, people have, the people have responded the way they did. So, all these troops they are bringing. You know, is to exacerbate the whole situation. Of course, you know what has happened. Yes, that the army went to, you know, in the Imo state where they want to, you know, carry out their evil agenda against the innocent persons in Imo state. And you saw what happened. Yes, even the army confirmed that they received injuries. The, the, the military, the officers received injuries. I say, Five of them were injured. They said um, the IEDs detonated. They went to a court or two and to some other places. Yes, even they went to Anisha, Newe, and the Himob Obosi, Anambra states. They went to market in Enugu. Okay? But the one in a court or two, Osumo Hulilu, and other places, is where they received so much injury, according to them. What happened to them, we don't know, but they said they received injuries, the army. They said IED is detonated. Nobody knows what happened to them. Okay? Their unseen hands really struck them. There, in Osumo, that's in the quarter to area. Unseen hands struck them. They received, you know, injuries. They were casualties, devastated. They ran away. They said the wound will struck them. All right? When you look at the statement of the General Wachuku, the Onyema Wachuku, who is the spokesperson of the Nigerian Army, he says the director of Army Public Relations. Yes, in his statement where he met, okay, let me quote part of his statement. I quote Troops came in contact with the group's armed fighters who detonated improvised explosive devices, i.e., also known as Obunigwe, and fired using locally fabricated mortar troops. Sadly, five soldiers and two Nigerian police operatives sustained varying degrees of injuries from the IED detonated by the criminals. End of quote. They are the ones who are the criminals. Nobody detonated the thing. The thing of, they, they, they were there on illegal mission. And so they received, on sea hands, fired them. And water, water, befell them. They, they were lucky enough. You know, nobody lost their lives. Their lives. They will have only devastating injuries, incurable injuries, that will even lead them lead them to the land of never return. Okay, uh, so that is it. Picking where some man go sleep, himself no go sleep. So you went to the southeast. You are being deployed to chase innocent persons who are merely saying want to start to home, and that becomes your grouse. So do the need for release the man and can and let everything. Calm down and let's talk, let's start talking about our referendum. We refused. So it will be happening. More injuries, more water water will continue to befall you people. That is what we are promising those people who said they have come. They have received marching order. Which marching order? Come, let us see you now. So that is it.